A badge ceremony today honoring a Chicago firefighter who died a year ago on the job. WGN's Patrick Elwood has more on the respect and recognition given to the late Lieutenant Kevin Ward. A somber day for where it all started for a fallen Chicago firefighter. Here at the Quinn Fire Academy, the badge of Lieutenant EMT Kevin P. Ward was added to the memorial wall. Ward suffered respiratory injuries in August one year ago while responding to a house fire in the Norwood Park neighborhood, succumbing to his injuries three weeks later at the age of 58. He joined CFD in 1996. Lieutenant Ward exemplified what it means to serve with courage, dedication, and selflessness. Ward was one of three firefighters injured while on that 911 call to help put out a house fire. The badge we retire today is more than a number. It symbolizes a life dedicated to the call of duty, a life given in sacrifice and service to others. At today's ceremony, Mayor Johnson paid tribute to the career first responder that was Ward, saying with 26 years on the job, the lieutenant was a difference maker. A year ago today, our city lost a selfless and heroic first responder. Lieutenant Ward was, he was our friend, our neighbor, a son, a brother, an uncle. It is such a difficult loss and it's still hard to even comprehend. Ward leaves a wife and children and an extended family behind. In all, four firefighters from CFD died in the line of duty last year, along with Lieutenant Ward. Firefighters Jan Torek, Jermaine Pelt, Andrew Price were taken from us as well, making 2023 one of the deadliest years in decades since the late 1990s. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.